There we go. This is the one that I used um, down in the jungle after watching your uh, uh, review. And um, yeah, what do I have? A ton of stuff because we're all watching this because y'all like gear on YouTube and then you have to put the stuff places when you do a, a presentation um, at Blade Show. Yeah, so there's a... I don't know if I can open this up right. Well, what do we got here? What do we got? What, do we oh, got? what, are, you, what, are, you, what are you digging into here? I, bought, I bought a bunch of stuff to give away too because I like giving... Oh, there's a prototype there from Artisan. I'm not sure if you're allowed to see that. Um, I think we might have seen that on social media for a minute. Thug Life. Uh, yeah, they're, they're in that bag. There's a stump. What's this bag you're digging into here? What do we got? Oh, these are freebies uh, to give away during the talk. So first aid kits and stuff, um, and then batoning processes and just basically the stuff you do on YouTube. But like, yeah, well, I don't know. Here at Blade Show, <laughs> so you, if you want to do bushcraft at some of these shows, you have to bring your own trees, um, which is honestly the truth. Because what am I gonna do? Just sit there and whittle paper plates? Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. So long story short, um, it went to the jungle and now I had to use it to hold a bunch of my crap at Blade Show because I watch your YouTube thing. I, <laughs> I'm being followed with the camera right now at Blade Show. It's kind of weird also having sunglasses on the inside. Sure. Yeah. Got it. I mean, I got put it aside. Oh, we can keep that there. <laughs> so, we're at Blade Show 2022, and I purchased a Mark or 45. Yes. Correct. Yes. And what what is your favorite part about the Mark or 45? Well, this was our first real backpacking bag. What does that require? A proper suspension system. Mm -hmm. So we actually took two years to develop it because we scrapped the first not so great suspension system for a badass dialed in one. So I think we did a great job for the first true suspension like hiking pack ever. So I think the suspension system is awesome. And I'm, I'm just being honest, I, I bought it from them and I'm here at Blade Show and I, I take people down the Amazon jungle, Bushcraft Global, and um, when you have to manage a lot of people in the jungle and, and you like bushcraft and, and you buy a lot of stuff and gear, you have to carry it around. And now I have to do that at Blade Show too and I've watched this thing get torn apart in the jungle with people loading yeah. it up on the boats. It's yeah. not like me trying to protect it or anything. Right. I put like a rain cover on it to keep all my, sure. my dangly stuff together. Yeah. But yeah, like they, they grab the straps and throw them in. That's And that's the thing. Yeah, I didn't you want know. to do it, but yeah, they did. And we had to move to get on a boat yeah. to get around an island. Um, it, it's, it's a lesson that we learned. Uh, yeah. We had a friend of mine actually who's been selling packs for a long time. He said anything that a person can grab and act as a handle will be grabbed. So we reinforced Whoa, that's everything. Smart. We reinforced every strap. So in that likelihood, guess what? It's not going to be the Achilles heel of the pack. And honestly, right now, I'm not trying to show off. I have a, a, a talk in like, um, I don't know, a couple hours, but I put a stump in here because oh, yeah. like we're at like a, they want to learn bushcraft stuff and I can't just chop the carpet. And so we have to have backstrop and all that. And the only pack I had at my house besides like a really tacky Samsonite suitcase was yeah. this. And this is much easier Wait, to walk around. the Tactitron? Yeah, that one. It's honestly in my car because I was like, which one's going to make me move around Blade Chill better with a bunch of ridiculous stuff in my yeah. backpack. And honestly, this thing is the cat's meow. Around, and I do a lot of backpacking. I actually used to write for Backpacker Magazine. Yes. And, and reviewed a lot of packs. So um, I know some really customizable packs yeah. that I've used in the past. Um, and this one's great because it has the perfect balance of um, being able to, to adjust the suspension, the top, the back, yeah. and all that. I just kind of have a quick setup right now. Um, but uh, yeah, and it doesn't have so much dangly stuff because I have too much dangly yes. stuff I have to put on. Otherwise, you got right. like 5,000 straps. Yeah. Like, we were really longer. cognizant of people who need to carry gear but not have every part of their pack snag on every little thing. Yeah. And if it does, it tucks. So we have compression straps. But if we know you're not going to use it, it has its own pocket and it tucks away, and now that's something that's not going to get snagged. Because we knew, having used bags ourselves, that that sucks sometimes. And you don't want people to be forced to cut them off. That's a permanent modification, you're not getting it back. Oh, it's, it's almost like people who actually use stuff designed smartly it's, it's sometimes. Proven the Amazon jungle, <laughs> by the way. Thank you so much, oh, dude. Yeah, Mission accomplished. This yeah. is great. So at least for me, it's working. It's working right now, although yeah. everybody's looking at me here, but whatever. 
Um, awesome. And I'm going to go put it back underneath the table. But yeah, yeah I just want to show you, it's just oh, real life so working. That's crazy heavy. <laughs> Tree stump in there. 